Hey, you guys, it's your girl Zaire from the Bay, and we are on set with Onset and Co. here at Hotland Signs, and this is your special report. August 1st, 2022, at the City Hall meetings, Atlanta City leaders proposed a property ordinance that can possibly shut down businesses who have repeated gun violent offenses. If this ordinance was to pass, that means the city will have the right to close establishments that have had two or more problems within the last two years. Several businesses, rappers, and even grieving families affected by the nighttime life spoke out against this ordinance. Let's see what they have to say. All right, you guys, it's your girl Zay from the Bay, and I am standing with Miss Aaliyah down here at the Atlanta City Hall. Tell me what brought you here today. Um, my fiance was shot and killed in February at a club um, in front of me, and so that's why I'm here. Okay, so tell me, how did that really affect you, you personally? I mean, I know losing a partner is a lot. I was not expecting you to say that. I'm sorry. It's but okay. I know that that's the reason why we're here, because yeah. I know they're trying to shut down these businesses for these other cases. Are you more of an on the side, or, are you, or what, what do you think should happen? Um, I'm neutral. I don't feel like, you know, we should just shut down all nightlife establishments, even though what happened to my fiancé. Okay. But I do feel like there needs to be more safety and security put in nightlife establishments. So more like police control, more yes. instead of security like real police officers yes. because we know like the, the incident happened in Texas at a at a, a very popular club the security guards killed a young lady mm -hmm. right and so we have more real police that's out there monitoring we wouldn't have these type of issues so tell us more about your night well you don't have a nighttime business but you do have a business correct yes. so tell us about your business um so my nonprofit is time to thrive beyond grief which is meant to advocate and assist people that have been impacted by gun violence which I started because of what happened to my fiance but I did work in nightlife previously I was was actually at work when he was killed so okay so for one thing this is live right now so what is something that you want to tell for the people that needs to come out here and come support this movement what's something you want to tell to the listeners I just want to tell everybody to come out for the people that are against the nightlife and safety ordinance I would say we all can just learn to go out and have fun and go back home we wouldn't even need these type of things in place you know so that's just my main message people just be safe think before you act um, I'm not against all nightlife, but we definitely need more security and training. We definitely need to criminalize, penalize the criminals and not the small businesses. Mm -hmm. Some things are really out of their control. People are coming from out of town. Yeah. You know, it's the tourist state. A lot of people are coming and doing things, and yeah. it sucks that it's affecting more than just them. It's affecting yeah. all of us. And I'm really condolent on your loss, you. but we are here to stick with you. We all in this together. <laughs> so let's keep, Thank let's you. connect. Thank yes. You. If you want to learn more information, speak on the panel, or get more involved in your community and local politics, the City Hall has their meetings every two weeks at 11 a.m. It's your girl Zay from the Bay with Onset & Co. at Hotline Signs, and this is your special report, ATL Nightlife Under Attack.